What's up guys, my name is Daniel Hale, and in this series, we are working on setting up and finishing the omoplata. This is episode three of our series. I'll put the other videos down below in the description in case you guys missed it, so you can watch all of the videos. There's four videos to this series, so don't forget to subscribe, ring the notification bell, and you won't miss a thing, okay? So today, I'm gonna show you guys now in part three, how to get the sweep in this omoplata finish. So in part three, I'm gonna show you guys how to get the sweep. So maybe you guys are competing and you have 30 seconds left on the clock, you're in the omoplata, it's easier for you guys to sweep, get your points, win the match, instead of taking the time to get the finish, okay? Because if there's 30 seconds left, you might not get it. All right guys, so now we're gonna go over the sweep in the omoplata, one that I like to use all the time. Okay, it puts pressure on the shoulder so that the person is forced to roll. You guys can come on top, get your points, or continue to roll to mount, get the finish. All right, so let's take a look. Okay, so our sleeve collar position, same thing we did in the other videos. Okay, guys, so here, Cody's gonna rotate a little bit for me. So I'm gonna go here now, I kick, I put my foot inside, I slide, kick, and I get to the omoplata. Okay, so now, I'll just get you to rotate a little bit more this way. We're in this position, okay? I'm not letting go of Cody's collar. I'm keeping his head down with my left leg, okay? And I'm holding his elbow like a football, all right? So sometimes we have a bit of a harder time getting up, all right? Maybe he's got a really good base. He's controlling my hip. I can't sit up. I can't shrimp, okay? So that's why this grip is super important because it not only controls his posture, but I can use this to continuously attack. All right, so I'm gonna pull this grip out and I'm gonna go thumb down and I'm gonna pass the grip that I'm holding right here to my other hand and I'm going thumb down just like this, okay? So I have the omoplata locked in, I take my right hand, I slide through and I grab this grip, okay? Now I still have my elbow locked down on his elbow so that he can't escape his arm. I have this grip right here, and now I can hip out just a little bit, and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna come up to my elbow, okay? So now here, I'm on my elbow, four fingers, I open my hand as wide as I can, I have a base on my hand and a base on my elbow, all right? So here now, I wanna get the sweep, okay, and come on top. So what I'm gonna do, I take my knees, and I turn them down to the mat. Okay, so if you see my bottom foot that's locked in, I also put my toes on the mat here, and my right foot that's locked in, my foot is on the floor, okay? This is so that I can do a, a hip bump and sweep him over, all right? I have my knees pinched, they're facing to the mat, because I don't want him to posture up and rip his arm out. There's consistent pressure on his shoulder at all times, so that it's hard for him. He doesn't want to posture because it hurts, okay? So now, I'm gonna do the hip bump sweep. Okay, just like I would be doing from Coast Guard. I look to the mat, I lift my body, and I hip bump, and I make Cody fall over. I go like this. Okay, so as soon as I sweep him now, I'm still controlling that collar, and now I'm gonna keep my right foot curled in underneath his shoulder blade, so it keeps the strong position on his arm, and I pivot my left foot up. Okay, now I'm sitting on Cody's shoulder. I take my right hand off the collar and I grab right on his tricep right here. That's so he can't just do a yank out and pull his arm out, okay? So I'm pulling on Cody's tricep and I'm stepping my foot just like this, okay? Flat, knee down, you can see the triangle base in between my legs and now I have control. This is so if he tries to turn into me and starts pushing on my back, I can push back with my foot and keep control, okay? If I put my foot over here and he pushes my back, I post my hand, he rips his arm out, I miss everything, okay? So I wanna be just like this, controlling, okay? I have the elbow, I'm sitting on his shoulder, my right leg is tucked in underneath the tricep, so he feels a lot of pressure here, and I'm stepping on my foot, okay? Now there's many things we can do, we can back step to mount, but in this series, I just wanna go keep it simple for you guys, okay? And we're gonna go right to side control. So I'm gonna take my left hand, I grab, right, and switch it. So now I can take my right 
and I can start sliding my elbow in and I swim Cody's neck. So this way, when I go chest to chest, I can block his hip with my left hand and now my right leg that had the omoplata scoops his arm and goes right underneath his head. So when I land in side control, I have complete control. Okay, I'll show you guys from a few different angles so you guys can make sure that you can see it. We go right here. Sleeve collar, move my hip, break the grip, foot goes inside the armpit with my foot so he can't escape. Kick and pull, lock the omoplata. I control, he's gonna freak out for a second, let him get a little bit tired, monitor, don't let him jump over, control with your arm, keep his arm in, and use your calf to keep his head down. Okay, now I take the grip, thumb down, steal it, I come up to my elbow, Nice hip bump sweep, my knees are towards the mat. I throw Cody, and now, let's get your legs over there so they can see. Now, I grab with my right hand on his tricep. I post my foot, switch the hand. I can either come on the inside here, block both his arms, or I take my elbow, slide behind his neck. My left hand blocks his hip and I steal right into side control. Let's take a look from a bunch of different angles. As the third video in our series, we're gonna jump into number four now, how to do a back roll and land into side control, okay? Or you can go to mount, get a bunch of finishes from there. Okay, so don't forget guys, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.